And we're back, everyone. This is Radio Free Market. And just before the break, uh, Yuri, you were talking about uh, problem profiteers. And you were discussing how uh, the crises that are uh, created uh, really are uh, music to the ears of all central planners. Would you comment on that a little bit further, please? Oh, yes. It's, um, it is unfortunately true that that to expand the, the power of government bureaucrats, you need, you need a crisis, and this crisis can be real or imaginary in the United States and in Europe. And, um, and definitely, if you have a crisis, then you have an excuse. I think it was uh, um, uh, uh, Mr. Emmanuel, who is uh, the chief of staff of the president, um, today of the President of the United States, he said uh, uh, this, uh, this wonderful crisis should not be wasted. It should not go to waste. I mean that they, they would like to, to introduce way more socialism under the, the excuse of, of fighting this, this crisis. And the crisis uh, engineered by the government since 1970s, especially in real estate and mortgage industry, now is being used as an excuse against the so-called free market. Uh, who saw this free market here or in Europe uh, for the last 30 years? Now we are fighting with this imaginary free market ideologues or, or policies by introducing more government um, uh, intrusive government. The, the good thing about about um, uh, about the U uh, European Union, and and I think Professor Barron uh, um, made a point about that several times. That that it's not as as strong as our federal government. Uh, they don't have SWAT teams yet, or or they do not uh, they do not declare unilaterally uh, wars or or intervene into other countries like like we do. Uh, but from another hand, they also have a lot of people in Brussels who I think believe in the world government, believe in all this, uh, what Senator Taft called global only in the sense that, that we, should have a, we should have a global government, global uh, warming policy, global everything, um, and, um, and, and uh, give up our, uh, what's left of our liberties. Yes, that's unfortunately true. So, Pat, what, what should the U.S. do? Well, I, I think there's two things the United States should do. Uh, first of all, in relation to, to Europe, I, I said before, I think the United States should not participate at all in the bailout. We should, uh, in effect, say we, we, are, we wish you well, but we don't, uh, we don't feel that we have uh, the right, uh, by, I mean our governmental right, or to or interest to send our money over to bail out um, financially uh, Europeans. or internationally. Yeah, and uh, you know, I, the way I look at this, Michael, is both in the in the Europe and in the United States, we're we're coming to the point where we have an opportunity to reevaluate the way our country is going. And so far, the people in favor of even bigger government have the upper hand, but that's unfortunate. That's not the, that's not the answer. Uh, I think Greece uh, could uh, could become modern day heroes if they sat back and said, "You know what? We're going to do just as Yuri Maltsev has said. We're going to free labor markets. We're going to reduce business regulation. We're going to really scale back on our welfare programs so that we're hope we're helping only the needy." And uh, quickly, their finances would be in order, and they wouldn't need a bailout from anyone, and they could show by working hard that this is the way out of this uh, situation. Great. Absolutely. Excellent. Well, I want to thank and extend uh, uh, my deep thanks and appreciation to Dr. Yuri Maltsev and Mr. Pat Barron for being with us today. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, this is Michael McKay in Radio Free Market. Please visit us on the web at RadioFreeMarket.com where you can download this and all of our shows for free. And until next week, folks, wherever you are, please, Stand up for freedom. Thank you for listening.